Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to be talking about an issue that a lot of people run into in Clash of Clans that they don't know about until they're actually in the, in the situation itself. Uh, and that kind of revolves around people upgrading their town hall a little too soon, a little bit before they actually should. Now, the game is built around a system to where you're almost rewarded, if you will, uh, by attacking someone around your same town hall level. You know, it's kind of fair. Like, in the world and in school and all that kind of stuff, you always hear people saying, hey, pick on somebody your own size. That's kind of what this is built around. A Town Hall 10 should generally attack a Town Hall 10 or a Town Hall 9, something along those lines. And if they do, then they're going to get 100% of the loot that is available. Now, by saying 100% of available loot doesn't mean that if the person has 6 million loot, you're going to get all 6 million of it. <clears throat> There's a lot of math that goes into that. I'll leave a link in the description down below that really lets you understand how much you can get from someone's collectors and somebody's storages if they're full or if they're half full, whatever it may be. But today we're going to talk about the effects that rushing your town hall can have on you as a player in the game and really just in your, in your stability in the game uh, as well. So say that you were a town hall 8, okay? Well, if you attack another Town Hall 8, you're going to get 100% of that available loot that I was talking about that's going to be down below. It'll go into those, um, I don't know, the more mathematical details. It'll probably bore you if I talk to you about it. But um, if you attack a Town Hall 8 as a Town Hall 8, then you're going to get 100% of the available loot. Now, let's say that you're a Town Hall 9 and you're attacking a Town Hall 8. Well, you're only going to get 90% of that available loot. So you can still do it, and 90% isn't bad. I mean, that's still an A if you were to grade it. But as you continue going up and down, um, it continues to change. So let's say you're a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 8. Well, it goes from that 90 down to a 50% of the available loot. So if you were a Town Hall 8 attacking that 8, like I said, you'd get 100. If you're a Town Hall 10 now attacking that Town Hall 8, you're only going to get 50%. And then from there, guys, it goes on from a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 7 down to 25%. And then even lower, it uh, goes down to 5% of the available loot. So you might be wondering why I'm telling you this and why it has to deal with people upgrading their uh, Town Halls too soon. Well, a lot of people get excited in the game. They're like, all right, I've got a Town Hall 7, but I really want to go up to Town Hall 8 and get Teslas and Dragons because they're going to be awesome. I really want to attack with Dragons. Well, you can do that, but if you do it too soon, then, uh, and say you still have all like Town Hall 7 defenses, but your Town Hall is a Town Hall 8, well, if you're attacking that Town Hall 7 that you're pretty much equal with, you're going to be getting less loot. Now, say that you get to Town Hall 8 and you upgrade a couple things, you're, I don't know, you're doing okay, but you're like, oh my gosh, those X bows look like such cool defenses, and I really want an Archer Queen to attack with, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade up to Town Hall 9. Well, a lot of your base. Some of your defenses so and so on are still Town Hall 7. Some You have some Town Hall 8 level mixed in there. But you're now a Town Hall 9. So your actual Town Hall building is a 9 with some Town Hall 7 and some Town Hall 8 uh, defenses. Uh, but you now have the Expo and the Queen. But the only problem is if you were to attack that Town Hall 7 that you're almost equal with when it comes to defenses... Well, now you're only going to get 50% of the available loot. So it's going to take you a lot longer to upgrade. So obviously you've got to be involved in a lot of clan wars and stuff like that to get all of that clan war bonus. But when it comes to just raiding on a daily basis, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get uh, the kind of loot that you want. Especially if you hadn't upgraded your troops. If your troops are still Town Hall 7 level troops, then you're going to be attacking Town Hall 9s with Town Hall 7 level troops it's going to be really hard for you to progress in the game. So the whole point of this video, guys, is not to say, hey, uh, don't get excited for Town Hall 9. You need to max everything out. Is, would that be a good idea to max everything out? Yes. I have a Town Hall 8 that is completely maxed out. It's actually going to Town Hall 9 in a couple hours, which I'm super excited about. But I did that because I knew that once I got to Town Hall 9, everything would be ready. Everything would be where it needed to be. Now, is it okay for you to upgrade if you still have a couple defenses, and, but all your troops are maxed, all that kind of stuff? Yes, that's fine. You know, it's fine to, to progress and get excited about the game and get excited about what's to come in other town halls. But the only thing that I'm trying to express to y'all is that you need to be aware of the issues that you can run into with loot um, because it does get harder as you go up because of the effects that that percentage has on you. 
So hopefully you guys learned a lot. If you did, make sure that y'all hit that like button for me, all right? Uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you all very much. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of these videos in the future, just explaining one, explaining things. Why don't y'all comment down below what you want to hear me explain in the future from this broadcast podium that I'm on, or whatever you want to call it. It's just fun recording like this, standing up in front of the camera with the lights and everything. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.